morning everyone um, today I'm bringing you a haul and Saturday I went to Goodwill but they weren't 50% off so I went somewhere else I went to my local antique um, mall and I got a few things a few nice things so the first thing I got was this perfume bottle and everything was 50% off and I wrote some notes so I wouldn't forget and this is Shalimar. I don't know if you guys remember this, um, but this bottle is from the 1970s, and it still has a little tag on it, and it does um, have some left in there, and it smells really nice if you'd like Shalimar. So that was that one. I paid, um, everything was $6.00. I mean, this one was $6, and so I paid $3 for it. And then the next perfume bottle I found was this one. And this one is from the 1930s. And it's got just a tiny bit in there. It's Wim Dunn Lavender. Isn't that a pretty label? This one was six dollars, so that brought it down to three dollars. And I was able to get just two doilies. This one was two dollars, and it's got a little hole in it, but that's no big deal. We'll work around that. Nice square one, pretty pattern. And then this one is a nice runner. Nice long runner, but isn't that a pretty pattern? It's got nice little things I can cut out. and I've never seen one like this. And that one too has a little bruise. I call those bruises. So, and it's, uh, it's a yard. This one was $3. So those are those two doilies. And then I found some pink glass, milk glass. And the first one is this one. It was regularly priced $4. And it's called the Pedestal Candy Nut Bowl. And there's no marking on it. There's no chips or anything, no cracks. It's like new condition. So that was pretty. I, I've got to go back. There's more that um, I want to get on the pink glass. This one is the planter. It's called the Cross Hatch Flower Pot. And I think it's by Jeanette. This one was $5. Um, it does have markings on the bottom. Uh, mold number 2249 by Napco ceramics ohio what else cleveland ohio no cracks or anything and it's a nice size planner perfect little planner so what did i, did I say five dollars so i paid 250 for that and then the next one is this pretty one this is called the footed um it's a footed uh compote or whatever you want to call it the pink is called shell pink this one was six dollars is from the 1950s and Jeanette also on this one and it has the same markings on the bottom no chips or cracks but isn't that pretty then the next thing I found that was three pieces of the pink milk glass is this pretty vase, the hand vase, and I couldn't find any information on it, but all of her fingers are not chipped or cracked or anything. She has beautiful mauve nail polish and then the, the roses, and look at the lace here, and the lace is tipped with gold. Very beautiful. And then some of the lace on the top is a little chipped, but you really don't notice it. 
So I thought that one was real pretty. So if you have any information on this, I think this is really from the 50s or 60s. I'm not sure. But this one was $4, so I paid 2 And then I found this pedestal. It was uh, $6, so I paid 3 And it has some crazing, but I love crazing. That's just telling me that it's old. And I don't see any chips or anything on it. And uh, there's, uh, it's Mark Grayson Arts in California. So that's a very pretty little dish. Six dollars and I paid three. And then I found this cup and saucer. This was six dollars. And there's the inside of the cup. And uh, there's no chips or cracks. And then this is the saucer. And what I see people do with this is they're filling the cup with uh, wax and making candles out of them, which is really nice. The marking on this is Royal Sealy China from Japan. There's the mark. So, but it would be a shame to cover that up with wax. And then the last thing I got, oh, next to the last, is this box. This was $5, and um, it's this. This is a holder. And this was actually sold by Walmart. There's the hang tag. It's called the Ladies Collectible Ensemble. And it's in a nice box. It's a hat box. I haven't had this open yet. So it all closes up real nice. So I thought that was pretty. And for $2.50, why not? And then the last thing is, uh, if I can reach it, it's heavy. Is a piece of carnival glass. This one was six dollars, and it's a covered candy dish. I haven't cleaned anything yet, but there's no chips or cracks. And I love carnival glass. I think that's my favorite type of glass, is the carnival. And this is not old. Uh, I think it's from the 70s. Well, if you consider 1970s old, I guess it is old, but not compared to some of the, the carnival glasses that you can get. So that's that. And then I wanted to share just a little, little tip, I guess. Uh, you all know that I got a light box and I was having trouble um, with my letters because I, I have to be neat and orderly and my letters were all messed up so what I did was I got this box I think I got this from Michaels but I'm not sure but I put all my letters in there so they can stay nice and neat and I can find the letters really quick so I did that for the light box. Okay, that's it for right now. I've got a couple of shout outs to do today. And uh, one of them is for my granddaughter. So I hope you go over and leave her a little message and maybe uh, subscribe to her if you can. And I'll leave the link for that below. And I wanna thank um, Brandy and all the ladies this morning in the chat. I had a lot of fun and um, I will be seeing you soon. So, oh, here's my total from the, um, the uh, antique mall. 
and they are called Picker's Paradise Antique Mall here in Niles. And my hubby bought a antique Allen wrench that I didn't show. That was ten dollars, so my total was forty one eighty seven, including his. So I spent thirty one for all the glass and the goodies. That's not bad. So thank you all for coming in. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.